The test tool is one of the most used tools in Photoshop. In this video, we're going to explore the test tool, more specifically the character and paragraph panel in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocent here and welcome to the channel. Over here, we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. Just to get you started, there are two basic ways to create a test in Photoshop and I'm sure you already know that. So the first one is the most basic one, which is choosing your test tool and then left clicking on any part of your canvas so that you can create a test. When this happens, it creates a placeholder test for you that you can type in anything that you want to use. If you want to create just a simple test like this, this method is the right way to use. On the other hand, there are instances where you want to do more and that is when the character and paragraph panel comes in. So the next step in creating a test or the next option is you can create what is called a test box. By this, you choose your test tool, you left click and then you can create something like a box like this and then it is going to be filled with placeholder test for you. And later on, you can paste in anything that you want to paste inside of this one. Now, once you've created a test like this, you realize that we have so many options on top here. With these properties, you can make basic changes like changing the font type, the size, the boldness, and then the basic alignment. But you realize that there are more to the alignment and that is when the character and paragraph panel comes in in Photoshop. Now, when you choose your test tool, you realize that if you're using the latest versions of Photoshop, you are going to see the toggle the character and paragraph panels but if you are using the older versions and you don't have it you can quickly go to window go to character and then you can have your character and paragraph panel over here additionally you can place it over here so that you don't need to be activating each and every single time so you realize that we have a character and then the paragraph over here now let's explore the character here first things first the character panel also contains the basic properties of the test that you see over here and that is changing the font type the boldness and then the font size other things that you don't see over here and one of the reasons why the character and paragraph panel is important is the leading the kerning and then the tracking so what is the leading leading is basically the vertical space between tests so you realize that with my test over here, when I decide to increase the font size to make it a little bit bigger like this, you realize that the test is overlapping each other. And that is because I have my leading set to a very small value. Now you can select your test and then you can go to the leading and then you can open it up like that. So you realize that it is opening the test up vertically. So leading is the vertical space between tests. So if I want the test to be closed up vertically, I can bring my cursor here, drag it to the left side, and then it will be closed vertically. On the other way around, I can also open it up like this, and the space will be opened up. It is that very simple. Now you can also select the number here and input in any number at all, that it is going to work it out for you. Even when you don't have your test tool selected and then you have the test layer selected, the leading will still work out. Now you realize here that I've not selected the test. I've not highlighted it, but then the layer is selected. So if I go to close it up like this, it is going to close up. And if I open it up, this is what happens. The next one is the tracking. So you think of the tracking as the opposite of the leading. And that is the horizontal space between words. So the leading opens it up vertically, the tracking will open it up horizontally. Let's see how that works. So if you drag your cursor to the right side, for instance, you realize how open the test becomes. So it is opening it up for you. You see the spaces between the test and even the words, okay? So if you also close it up like this, it is going to close it up and make it very small. So you can even close it up some more and then you can see exactly what we have over here. So by default, you would have your tracking to zero, which will give you a normal space. But then there are instances where you'd have to close it up a little bit like that to make your test look very presentable and very nice. Now the tracking opens up the entire test, but what if you want to open up just a just one letter that is when the kerning comes in so the kerning can be used to open up 
a character just two characters okay so for instance if i want to space up these two tests between the t and then the o i can place my cursor in between the t and then the o and then i can open it up like that so you realize that at this point it is splitting just the two characters for me and not the entire test or the entire word for me now you see that moment when you have a test like this and you want to stretch it out but you don't want to use the transform tool you can actually use the vertical scale to make that so if you select an entire word like this and then you open up the vertical scale you see what is happening it is actually stretching it up vertically without increasing the size or the transformation without increasing the size so you can transform it for you and then if you want to bring it up like that too you can do it the same way as well also if you have a test and then you want to move it up or down a bit you can use the baseline shift to do that so i want this t test to go up a bit and i can use the baseline shift to do that so i can open it up like that then you see that it is pushing the t to the top also if you decrease it like so it is going to bring it underneath of it now you remember that we did the vertical scale just a few minutes ago this is the horizontal scale so if you want to stretch it out horizontally also you can use the horizontal scale and then it is going to stretch it out without affecting the size or anything like that and one of the few things that you get from the properties also here is the color so you can click on this to change your color anytime anywhere that you want i don't want this color let me go back to black now there are several properties here that are so very interesting to use and it can be very confusing if you don't have the character panel showing up here for instance if i choose the double t here it means that i'm selecting all caps now what happens is that if i turn this character paragraph panel off and then i delete even my test and then i decide to write any other test it is still going to show up in capital letters you see so if you don't have the character and paragraph panel showing up and then you are seeing that all your tests are showing all caps you may want to select all the tests go to the toggle character or select open the character and paragraph panel and then check whether your tt is on honestly if you are not aware of this it can be really exhausting because you might actually be wanting to type in small letters but all your tests will be showing in caps so the double t here is for all test this is for italics there are some typefaces that don't come with italics so you can select this italics if you want to give such typefaces italics and this one is the fox bold it actually adds a bit of boldness to every single typeface that you have whether it's in bold or not it can add a bit of boldness to it so you can select that as well now for the next one it is the small cap so it is going to make the actual capital letters in the test very big and the rest of it it is going to make it capitals but quite smaller so if i turn this off you realize that the t here is already capital the t here is already capital and that is why if i choose this one the t here becomes very big this one becomes very big and the rest of the test oh the i here too but the rest of the test becomes very small but it is caps lock hope you get the concept there is also the superscript and then the subscript which actually allows us to type equations in photoshop so let me just capitalize all of these ones we want to type something like h2o so h2o and then we want to just make this one the subscript so we can select that particular character go to this option and then you can choose the subscript over here and then you have your beautiful subscript over there remember you can use this particular baseline shift to do that but the subscript makes it way so you can also turn this off to make it look the normal too and also if you want to write your beautiful x squared you can write the x2 like that select your two and then you can choose the superscript and then you can have your x squared or your x raised to the power two i think the rest of the two items over there are self-explanatory the underline as you know it from word document and then the strike through also from word document so you can use the underline and the strike through in photoshop as well now there are some options here that are grayed out and that is because these options only apply when the particular font or typeface comes with it so let me go for a font like 
glitten so you realize that the moment i chose glitten this sign is showing up so if i type something like innocent from here you see how the font is actually showing up right now okay so let me just try to press ctrl t open this up and see how this one looks like you see the vibes it is giving me for the innocent now let's select the same font and turn this one on and then you realize that it gives us the normal font type innocent so this depending on the typeface that you are using almost all of these can show up as and when you actually need it now you can bring this back on and then you can use it to style so basically they are used to stylized test as and when it's necessary the only thing that you need to take note when using these particular options over here is that for anyone that you select it is going to apply in your next project so you just have to make sure that if you check the underlying option in your previous project when you are working out on your next project make sure that you go back to the character panel and then change or uncheck the underlying option else it is going to affect every single test that you make over there yeah so that's for the character now let's go to the paragraph so you're going to check the paragraph now you notice something from here the alignment options that you have over here is just three and then that is the left align the center and then the right align but when it comes to this particular portion it gives you three plus four over here at this point you're going to have the justify left you're going to have the justify center and then you are going to have this justify right so and then of course the justify or as well but the question is do you just get all of these from a glance no you remember when we are starting i told you that you can create test in two options now let's go for the test tool and try to create just one test like this let's say heading now when you select this heading and then you go to your paragraph you'd realize that the other justify options has been grayed out and that is because you can't have it this way so the only option to activate these ones is to use the test box so you'd realize that if i delete this choose my test tool and then create a test box like that immediately the other justify options are going to show up and that is to say that if you want to create just a heading or just a basic test something that you want to arrange like what i had on my desktop you can use the normal left click and create a test but then if you want to go more by using the justify and having more options for your test you might want to use the test box to finish that and at the paragraph two you have a couple of things you have the indent left you have the indent right so you can indent this whole test to the left side something like that bring it to this side you can simply choose there if you don't want to indent it anywhere and then if you just want to indent the first line just the first line you can use the indent first line over here so you can use it to create paragraphs and all that so let me select that one too and click ok and this one too you can use it to add spaces before paragraph so in our test we don't have any paragraph if we were to have let's say let me just copy all of these let's go back to the character and then close it up slightly like that and then we are going to have another paragraph so enter enter and paste it so go back to the paragraph and we can add spaces before paragraph so you realize that it is creating a lot of space here before the paragraph so i can also close it up if i don't want the space between two paragraphs to be like that huge so this creates space before a paragraph as well and then you can also indent to the right side if that is what you want to do so you have your indent left and then indent right and this one to add spaces after a paragraph now after you're done with all of this you realize that we've made so many changes over here the, the leading the kenning the tracking we've made so many changes if you take anyone's machine and then you are having a problem with your test especially when it has to deal with some of these things all tests showing capitals underline subscript superscript and all that you can easily save yourself time by going to the menu here clicking on it and going to reset character what it's going to do for you is that it is going to reset the entire character to the very basic one so you realize that all of these are showing up so you can then get rid of all that the person had set and then you can start making your changes one after the other 
now the last thing that i forgot to even talk about is if you want to create fractions so i have one over two here let me select that open it up to be very big like that and then i want to create a very nice fraction so i can select all that come here and then i can create a fraction a beautiful fraction in photoshop yeah so there are so much to explore about the test tool and then especially the character and paragraph panel so you can take your time to go through it and explore it i hope you found this video helpful if you did a subscribe to the channel would be so very much appreciated let me know in the comment section which other tool you'd want us to take a very deep dive into it like the test tool that we just did thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye